and uh, getting some unconfirmed reports of uh, south southwest uh, excuse me south southwest of El Paso funnel cloud. Uh, so, folks in northern McLean, eastern parts of Woodford County, I would treat these like tornado warnings and seek shelter because we are seeing some really good rotation there south of El Paso. National Weather Service in Chicago has gone ahead and issued a very large uh, severe thunderstorm warning that includes just about all of LaSalle. It includes all of Livingston County as well. That warning runs until 645. And they are putting out a tornado warning. So if you're in the control room, we're getting a new tornado warning here. This is going to be for this cell in northern McLean County. Uh, coming up with a spotter report above. So El Paso, you need to seek shelter now. Do not wait for that report or for that weather radio to go off. I need you now to get to your storm shelter. We have rotation over El Paso. It is coming in fast. The National Weather Service is drawing up a warning now. Seek shelter if you're in El Paso. Gridley, Flanagan, rotation is heading that general direction. Spotters have reported a funnel cloud. They're going to go ahead and issue a warning here, which should populate on the screen in just a few minutes. I'm going to circle it for you here. If you're in El Paso, again, rotation, well noted there, just south of El Paso. It is moving into town now. I need you guys to get to your storm shelters, basement preferred. An interior room, such as a bathroom or a closet, will also work if you do not have a basement. Moving north at 15 miles per hour. Okay. And they have that couplet now at 15 miles per hour. We should see it populate on the screen here momentarily. There it is. All right, El Paso, 457, Panola, 557, Minunk, 623. If you are within the warning polygon, you need to be seeking shelter. Funnel cloud has been sighted as rotation is now moving over El Paso. You have little time to react if you're in, the, uh, in El Paso. Meanwhile, uh, Gridley, the warning does not include you. Uh, we will see if the National Weather Service in Chicago uh, maybe extends that at some point. Uh, but it looks like they're, they're expecting the movement of this to go more north instead of northeast. Uh, but El Paso, this is going to come overhead. So you need to be seeking shelter. You need to put as many walls between you and the outside of your building as possible. Rotation now moving over El Paso. The National Weather Service has gone ahead and issued a tornado warning, which continues until 6.15 p.m. This also includes Benson and areas just east of Secor. Severe thunderstorm warnings continue, however, for Livingston County, as well as LaSalle County. And in Putnam County, we still have an ongoing tornado warning until 6 o'clock. That storm uh, starting to look a little better on radar as far as the rotation is concerned. But no new reports from that cell in Putnam County. We have a confirmed funnel cloud report in El Paso. This has prompted a tornado warning for eastern Woodford County. Broad but very fast rotation is now showing up, moving into El Paso. So please seek shelter if you live in El Paso and remain in shelter until the warning expires at 6.15 p.m. If you are watching us on TV and you're in this tornado warning, you can pull up our live stream either through the CI Proud to Go weather app, through Facebook Lives as well, and on our website, CI Proud to Go. If you don't have a smartphone and, a, a smartphone and are unable to do that, uh, crank up the TV and head downstairs, and we will give you the all clear when this moves uh, out of town. But right now, rotation is moving over El Paso, and we have had confirmed reports of funnel clouds with this as it begins to move into town. Uh, given the speed of these storms, you're not going to have a whole lot of time to react. So I'm going to ask you to seek shelter until the warning expires, which is at 6.15 p.m. In Bloomington Normal, the worst of this now appears to be to your east. Down near Leroy, the leading edge of this line of thunderstorms is moving in as well. And there could be another small couplet developing near Farmer City in DeWitt County that could clip McLean County as this moves, uh, continues to move to the northeast. I'm going to reassess our rotation here. Couplet is over El Paso. 
And we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning for McLean County. That is for southeastern McLean County. That now runs until 6.45 p.m. 60 mile per hour winds, the primary threat down there. Main area of concern right now is over El Paso, where we do have radar indicated rotation. And we have had confirmed reports of funnel clouds in this area. But we are not seeing a debris signature showing up, showing up on radar. So there's some good news, good news there. Hopefully it stays that way. If we were looking for debris, it would uh, show up as blue. And we're not really seeing that now. It appears to be just rain, uh, but we are seeing rotation. And that rotation is now over El Paso. So if you are in El Paso, we need you to seek shelter and remain in shelter until the warning expires at 6.15 p.m. The warning does not include any part of McLean County. We have video of uh, the Washburn tornado. All right, let's, uh, if we are able, are we able to pull it up in the control room or do we have to do it here on our end? This is, we don't have it. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, if the control room can pull up links one, this was the tornado earlier. Uh, you'll have to look very closely, but this was the tornado earlier. You said this was near Washburn? Yes. Okay. This is the one that prompted the tornado warning that is still active in Putnam County. Do we know who sent that? Yes. Uh, Sarah Dunbar. Sarah Dunbar with this video. Thank you, Sarah, for this report. Sarah. One thing you'll notice if you look at the storm structure, how tilted those storms are, that is that strong wind shear causing these storms to tilt and spin. All right, let's go ahead and take it back to links two. I want to show you the active tornado warning here in El Paso. Rotation remains over town, and if you are in El Paso, you need to remain in shelter. Right now, the core of the rotation is right on the east side of town. However, tornadoes... Uh, you know, they don't touch straight down. Sometimes they extend out in any which direction. Uh, so remain sheltered. It is right on the edge of that warning, however, that warning polygon is where that rotation is located. I'll see if I can give you a, a proximate cross section or crossroads here. It's Highway 24. And it's going to be County Road 2800 East if you're looking for a crossroads as to where that rotation is located. That is East 3100 North Road, or Highway 24, and County Road 2800 East. That is the location of where that rotation is centered. But keep in mind, uh, the tornado can you know, touch down in any which direction away from that meso there that we're seeing on radar. Rotation that we're seeing here on radar is about 2,500 feet up into the air. Spotters had confirmed... Funnel cloud reports out of that, and that with the rotation prompted the tornado warning, which continues for another 30 minutes for eastern Woodford County. Uh, meanwhile, we're still keeping an eye on you in Putnam County. Still some rotation here. It's a little looks a little better than it has on radar. Uh, this was the cell that produced the confirmed tornadoes near Washburn and Roanoke earlier this evening, about an hour ago. Uh, that is still holding on, and we're still seeing some rotation there as it begins to merge uh, with the main line coming out of the west. Uh, so that tornado warning continues for another 14 minutes. For those in Livingston County, the entire county, as well as LaSalle County, are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 645. We have an hour to go on this warning. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour, the main threat. But brief tornadoes are a possibility as that lifts into those counties. So Peru, Ottawa, Streeter, Pontiac, Fairbury, Chatsworth all need to be, be aware, remain weather aware as this line of storms pushes on in. And I'm gonna, we'll send out, take a look at our cameras in Pontiac and we'll see if we have any good views of those storms off in the distance. I'll tell you what, if uh, this... El Paso cell holds together. We should have a really good view of, of it as it lifts north and passes west of Pontiac. Uh, so that'll be something to watch here. Uh, but for now, Pontiac uh, is under a severe thunderstorm warning as that line is approaching from the south at 30 miles per hour. 
For those at home who are sending us the reports and the videos and the pictures, we greatly appreciate it. Please keep them coming. Your reports are very helpful to us. We do have an update here on uh, the ongoing watches. So county shaded in yellow, remain under a tornado watch through 9 p.m., but as I had mentioned earlier, once the main line pushes through, that will put an end to the risk of severe weather for today. Uh, Peoria County, we are in the clear. We're going to deal with some rain for the next couple of hours. Uh, funnel cloud uh, was also reported near El Paso per a fire department report. Uh, that was, that's the latest update we have uh, from the ongoing tornado warning in Woodford County. I do want to loop this uh, for the last hour. You kind of see how things have moved along. Storms quickly moving to the north and northeast. Now, I do think the rain from earlier today has really helped us out here and has made this not as bad as it otherwise could have been. Uh, it, I mean, this, this thing could have really gone off the rails if, if we didn't have that rain earlier today. That, that helped this from becoming a more significant severe weather event. But we are still getting you know, a handful of these tornado warnings and brief spin-up tornadoes as this line lifts north. Pontiac, that line is heading your direction. I'm going to map it out real quick. Curious on the speed. And if you watch real closely here in McLean County, you can see how we see this surging line here in northern parts of McLean County and how that begins to, to wrap up and spin. And that right where we see it really start to spin up is where we get the funnel cloud reports and the tornado warning is prompted from there. And that's just north of Bloomington. Uh, so I'm hoping that once this rotation uh, kind of spins itself out, that'll be it. Hopefully we're done with them. Uh, but this whole line, about 40 miles per hour to the northeast. I do want to give you an estimated time of arrival for those in Livingston and LaSalle counties. Call it 45. All right, Streeter 608, Pontiac 609, Ottawa 618, Emmington 630. So that's the estimated arrival time for, this, for the leading edge of this line of storms. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour would be likely or are at least possible. And you cannot rule out a brief spin-up tornado out of this line as well. Tornado warnings continue. For Woodford County until 6.15 p.m., that is over El Paso, and Putnam County for another 10 minutes for a cell that had a history of producing tornadoes near Washburn and Roanoke earlier this afternoon. The rotation now near El Paso appears to be weakening. We can only hope this trend continues. So if that holds on like that, it's unlikely we'll get an extension of this warning into uh, Menunk and LaSalle in Livingston counties. Uh, but if you're in Flanagan, I remain weather aware. Continue to monitor the NOAA weather radio, your CI Proud to Go weather app. You are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 6.45 p.m. there. But the rotation in Woodford County is starting to, to loosen up a little bit. Could be looking at some other small couplets forming near Lexington, but that does not look tornadic. Instead, probably speaks to uh, the location of some stronger winds. Also likely seeing similar conditions to the east of Empire and Leroy, just west of Bellflower. And all these small couplets, I'll circle them for you. Any one of these at any point uh, can go on to tighten up a little bit and become something more than just a little a little tiny swirl along the leading edge of this line of, thorn, uh, of storms. Well, any new reports 
uh, coming out of anything? I haven't seen any okay. uh, from Either chat I. or even on our email or anything. Okay. Uh, we were, we did get some. Speaking of. There's a later update. Uh, National Weather Service at 5.52 p.m. Severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near El Paso, 13 miles east of Eureka, now moving northeast at 25. And so, again, the rotation with that has weakened, but the, they continue to say it remains a possibility. And just a reminder uh, for our friends in Putnam. Yep. That warning is set to expire at 6 o'clock. It is. And we'll see if that, you know, that started to pick up. The velocity signature started to pick up a little bit as it was merging with that other line, but uh, we're, we're looking really high up into the storm at this point, and it does not look all that impressive. Uh, I think a severe thunderstorm warning for that cell probably would suffice. Um, but it's worth watching. And again, you can see that tornado warning in Putnam County continues there. That's until 6. Uh, El Paso, uh, you have been taken out of the warning, at least for most of you. If you're on the northern part of town, the warning still clips you. Uh, but the rotation is now north of El Paso. Uh, so El Paso, you are in the clear at this point. Panola, I would stay sheltered. Uh, the broad rotation is now starting to push along the Woodford County and Livingston County lines between El Paso and Flanagan. But it is not well organized at this point. This, this has undergone some significant weakening, and we might, if this continues, uh, see that warning canceled or expired early. Continue severe thunderstorm warning for McLean and Woodford until okay. 6.15. So our huge uh, severe thunderstorm warning here for McLean County continues. You can see they just trimmed that back. Uh, they've taken Bloomington Normal out of the warning. Hudson's been taken out of the warning. This uh, severe thunderstorm warning at this point is mainly for Chenoa, Lexington, Colfax, Gridley, and El Paso, and, re and the rest of eastern Woodford County. Of course, all of this is heading up into Livingston County, moving in the direction of Pontiac, Fairbury, Chatsworth, Cornell, Redding, Long Point, Streeter, Odell, and Dwight. This is all heading in your general direction. We might actually have a good view on the, Pontiac, on the camera. Pontiac camera. And on the left side of the screen here, you can kind of make out the a lowering or a base of the storm there. So that should get a little better view once that uh, moves into living, uh, moves a little closer to Pontiac. We have had a handful of tornado reports, uh, at least locally, the two we do have. Uh, was in Woodford County, one north of Roanoke, another one 10 minutes later east of Washburn. Confirmed tornadoes were also spotted southeast of Springfield, close to Jacksonville. And we've had some damaging wind reports in Havana. Possible tornado there that prompted a tornado warning earlier uh, this afternoon. That was the first warning to go right along the Illinois River. Uh, meanwhile, where you see this exclamation point, uh, over El Paso, that is the funnel cloud report that has prompted the current tornado warning in Woodford County. Uh, but El Paso at this point is in the clear from the tornado warning. If there is any rotation left within this cell, it is likely rain wrapped uh, southwest of Flanagan. And, and if not, it's kind of been. It's been stretched out. Uh, it's a very broad area of rotation. This is what we call a bookend vortex. It is on the north end. So you get a counterclockwise circulation here of a damaging line of stor uh, storms where the winds are blowing out uh, to the northeast. Uh, for uh, Sarah, the control room, if we do... Um, as we enter the newscast at 6 o'clock, uh, we, can, we can carry on to the newscast as is. Uh, we'll, we can drop out of coverage at 6. Okay, just let me, just, uh, let me know in my ear uh, when we get close. 
Uh, folks who are continuing to watch, we will go into our 6 p.m. newscast as scheduled. Unless the rotation here really starts to tighten up, uh, we will go back to our regular scheduled programming, but we will stay with you till the top of the hour. We're still watching these line of storms. We'll keep you informed as we go throughout the newscast, and if we need to take over again for weather, we certainly will. Uh, still keeping an eye on some stronger winds, now possibly pushing into the Shinoa area. You can see these little broad couplets. There's one to the northwest of Shinoa, another one over Shinoa, and another one near Saybrook. These are not tornadic, but we're likely seeing some stronger wind gusts in those areas. Would you like to send Adam anywhere? Uh, have him uh, hold tight for a little bit. I was going to say, he's in All right. Danvers. All right. So 30 seconds, and Sarah, where would we be starting off? Am I tossing to Shelby? All right, line of storms continues to lift to the northeast at 30 miles per hour. That's going to lift through Livingston County as it begins to, and through Pontiac here shortly. Now we're getting some new updates. Tornado warning for Bureau and Putnam until 645. Moving All right. northeast at 35 miles per hour. All right, we've got a new tornado warning in the control room, so we're going to have to stay with this. New tornado warning for Bureau and Putnam counties. We'll see if that pops up here momentarily. And there it is. Yeah, rotation north of Henry starting to tighten up a little bit. This is now moving over Hennepin Bureau, heading out towards Ladd. New tornado warning now for northern Putnam and eastern Bureau County. This will run until 645 p.m. Um, canceled tornado warning for Woodford, Illinois. Okay, so, so the... expired. Yep. Woodford County warning has been expired. No longer a threat in El Paso and Monunk, but our attention now is turning to the north. South of Princeton, Granville, Hennepin need to be seeking shelter. We have rotation indicated on radar up here just south of Hennepin. There's the rotation. That is going to be moving up towards uh, through Hennepin, Bureau, Ladd, and, Sh and Cherry if it all holds together. Let me give you the estimated, uh, Molly, what was the speed on this? 35 miles per hour to the northeast. Okay. Here's an estimated time of arrival. Hennepin, 603. Spring Valley, 617. Ladd, 622. And then it's going to head north of our viewing area from there. So once it gets north of Interstate uh, 80 uh, past Ladd, our viewing area will be out of the woods on this. Uh, but we're going to stay with you, and unfortunately for Hennepin, this is a rain-wrapped situation. So if there is a tornado there, you are not going to see it. So we ask that you seek shelter, get to an interior room, such as a bathroom or a closet, but a basement is preferred as this moves into town. This is radar-indicated rotation, correct, Molly? Yes. Okay. Yeah, severe thunderstorm at 558. Severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Hennepin, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. I'll rattle off uh, some of the locations that are included uh, within this. It'll be near Depew around 610, Spring Valley around 615. Ladd is, the, is one of the bigger, uh, Ladd, Spring Valley, and Hennepin are some of the more populated areas that are included within this. And Hennepin, it is right on top of you at this point. Uh, so you need to remain in shelter. Tornado warning continues until 6.45 p.m. That is our latest tornado warning. We have no confirmed reports, but that is radar-indicated rotation. And that rotation looks fairly healthy compared to what the cell was doing earlier. Uh, so right now, it is right at the Bureau County line, uh, Bureau Putnam County line, just south of Hennepin by a few miles, or about, about a mile and a half. That is how far to the south and west it is. So if you are in Hennepin, seek shelter. Bureau, Granville, Ladd, and Cherry all need to be seeking shelter. This warning does not include Peru, Cedar Point, or Oglesby. Uh, for those north of Interstate 80, Ladd, Cherry, Arlington are all included within this warning. McNabb, Magnolia, that portion of the warning from earlier has been expired. You are in the clear. As we head uh, further south into Livingston County, 
we've got a lot of storms now moving into Pontiac, and we'll actually have a pretty, we should have a pretty good view of the leading edge of that line. So far, it looks more shelf cloud. I'm not seeing any ominous lowerings here. Uh, but with the cell that's in Bureau County, uh, that one is, the rotation is embedded within the rain. So you're not going to be able to see that one at all. Further south, we'll see if we have any rotation south of uh, Pontiac. And I'm not seeing a whole lot. We do have some very weak and broad rotation uh, southeast of Shenoa heading towards Fairbury. That uh, does not look too alarming at this point. We're seeing a lot of that throughout that entire line. Continue severe thunderstorm warning for McLean. Okay. So eastern McLean County. Uh, McLean County is just about in the clear, uh, but we still have the worst of it now coming through Colfax, Saybrook, down through Blue Ridge. I would say McLean County is probably going to be in the clear in the next 20 minutes. Uh, for Livingston County, your event is just getting started. All right. Tornado warning continues. Rotation is now located. Over Hennepin, directly overhead in Hennepin. And you can see the broad shear rate, uh, kind of wind shear associated with that. It is also near Bureau, so if you are within that polygon, you need to remain sheltered until the warning expires, which is at 6.45 p.m. And that was moving to the northeast at 35 miles per hour. which will put it in LAD at 623. Spring Valley, 620. And Hennepin, as we mentioned earlier, it is on top of you now. We have not seen a lot of lightning out of this, but you are getting some very heavy rain. Meanwhile, it, rain and storms will be increasing in areas like Streeter, Redding, Cornell. Heavy rain down Flanagan. We're obviously getting rain in Pontiac. There's the view in Pontiac. Winds are still coming out of the south, southeast there. Uh, you can see the rain curtain starting to increase there from the west and south, and that's going to be pushing through here momentarily. Now, the Pontiac also under severe thunderstorm warning until 6.45. Uh, any of Adam's live hits will be via the GoPro and okay. straight live. Okay. Some broad rotation still noted here. South of Pontiac does not look too alarming as far as uh, tornadoes are concerned, but it might be an area where we could see some stronger straight line winds as this cell pushes on through. So something to keep in mind, um, we're not seeing a necessarily a huge, you know, corridor of very strong winds, but they kind of look more microburst type in nature as they uh, begin to move into Livingston County, but that's gonna be heading up towards Pontiac. So Pontiac, uh, be aware, the wind speeds there could really start to pick up in the next 20 minutes. And as we've seen with some of these other couplets throughout the afternoon, the rotation uh, can really tighten up within just a few minutes, produce a funnel or a tornado, and then it, it dissipates just about as quickly as it developed. Uh, so you're not going to have a whole lot of warning time from this. Uh, but we do have that ongoing tornado warning. This is for Putnam and Bureau Counties until 6.45 p.m. Rotation looks a little less defined than it's been. It's not nearly as, as strong or as tight. But we have an elongated area of rotation here over Hennepin. And it's moving up towards LAD. Uh, those who are not familiar with Doppler radar, Green colors indicate rain or wind moving 
towards the radar site. Red indicates moving away. And the radar site here is coming from the Quad Cities. And so we, you see the, the motion, the wind changing direction there. And right in there is where you would have your, your tornado if there were one. This is part of the same cell that has produced tornadoes in Woodford County earlier this afternoon. We had one north of, of Roanoke. We had another one near Washburn as it was moving into Marshall County. Uh, that's what prompted the tornado warnings from that cell earlier. That cell kind of uh, more or less fizzled out and really lost its rotation. But when it merged with the main line, it started to pick up that rotation again. And that is where we're at now. Uh, so that rotation is still broad, but we'll stay with it because this cell has a history of producing, of producing tornadoes with very little indication on radar. Uh, so Bureau, Hennepin, Granville, Ladd, up through Cherry, and Arlington all need to remain in shelter. Safest place to be during a tornado warning is a basement. Let's go ahead and show you uh, some safe places here. If you live in a mobile or manufactured home, uh, you need to get to a sturdier shelter, community shelter if you have one, uh, perhaps a local store or gas station nearby. Uh, you, need a, you need a more permanent uh, structure. Large open rooms are not advised either. That includes gymnasiums, cafeterias, of that such. And if you are happening to watch this through, a through our, one of our live streams on your mobile device, uh, do not stop and pull over underneath an overpass. Uh, that will not protect you, but it will put others in harm's way. Uh, your next safest option is going to be an interior room of a well-constructed home or building. And uh, your number one place to be during a tornado warning would be a basement or a storm shelter. And so if you are in an interior room of a well-constructed home or in a basement or a tornado storm shelter, uh, go ahead and stay in place. And again, that was for the ongoing tornado warnings in Bureau and Putnam County. Point of reference rotation is, is roughly over Hennepin at this point. And is about nine and a half miles southwest of Interstate 80 near Ladd. Princeton, Tiskawa, not included within this warning. Although if you are in Bureau County and you're in the western half of the county, in all likelihood your no weather radio still went off because those are county-based warnings. Uh, but right now, it is northern parts of Putnam County where that rotation is highest. You can even see a bit of that couplet uh, near Granville as well. So it's, it's an elongated area of rotation here, and a, a funnel cloud or a tornado is possible anywhere along that line. We'll head down towards uh, southern LaSalle County. Main concerns here for Tonica Streeter area. Uh, lost in Rutland is the strong winds. Now, Rutland, I think the worst of it at this point, at least the heavier rain has passed you. You're still likely looking at some strong winds for another few minutes. Cornell, you've got some rain now, but uh, the worst is yet to come. And our view in Pontiac, uh, hard to make out any type of structure. It looks more just like a wall of rain moving into town there. Does look like the winds may be starting to change direction, though, as that line pushes on through. Okay, you see the trees that are swaying there. It doesn't look too terrible at the moment in Pontiac on our Pontiac RV camera. Down near uh, Flanagan, Cornell, I would do want to see some broad rotation there. Pontiac, I think the worst for you is to come. We should see the wind really whipping up here soon. Now, that couplet is not tornadic, but it is probably bringing in some stronger winds down towards the ground. Uh, so would not be surprised to see your wind speeds in Pontiac really start to pick up as this moves in. And in areas like Fairbury, no rotation noted. But you could experience some stronger wind gusts as that line pushes on through. Uh, but the rest of this line... Uh, looks less impressive as you head further to the south. Change to our Lincoln radar site. 
you know, it's not nearly as impressive uh, as you head uh, east of McLean County. Uh, so the heaviest of this, you're still getting some heavy rain far eastern McLean County, but most of McLean County at this point is likely in the clear. And our focus for the rest of this evening is going to be in Livingston, LaSalle, Bureau, and Putnam counties. You can kind of see a backward C shape here to the west of Pontiac. And then you can, you can see some of that broad rotation. Another, kind of, another donut hole here, if you will. Perhaps another bookend vortex, similar to what we saw earlier over El Paso forming now near Pontiac. This one's not quite as strong as what we had earlier over El Paso, but I still would not discount some very strong winds moving over Pontiac here for the next 20 minutes or so. And we are getting some updates. Looks like uh, there's a severe thunderstorm warning issued. Uh, that would be areas south of us. Mm -hmm. And the National Weather Service continues the severe thunderstorm warning for Ford, Grundy, LaSalle, Livingston counties until 6.45 p.m. This is for 70 mile per hour wind gust at this point. Storm moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. And they do have a tornado possible tag with it. Tornado warning continued for Bureau and Putnam northeast at 35 miles per hour. Okay. Yep. It's thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Depew or near Hennepin moving northeast at 35. Switch over to a different radar site, which may pick that rotation up a little bit better. Again, not as well organized, but it is still there. You can see the inbound winds in green, outbound winds in red, rotation near Hennepin, and Bureau and Granville. It's all in that area. I would remain sheltered. If you're anywhere uh, near Illinois Highway 71 and State Route 29, and I would include Spring Valley in that as well, you need to remain sheltered until this warning expires and that warning will expire at 645 so we still have a long ways to go on that warning it may be trimmed here soon to uh, uh, as the rotation heads further into bureau county uh, but right now the rotation is still in putnam county and we do have rotation very broad elevated rotation over pontiac That's looking a little healthier than it was not too long ago in the Pontiac area. Let's see if we can uh, bring in our Pontiac camera. All right, so we've got the worst of this now moving into Pontiac as we speak. And that rotation that we showed uh, is moving right overhead. And obviously, if there is anything in there, it would be rain-wrapped. But you can see how the wind is picked up. That cyclonic circulation is bringing in stronger winds from aloft down towards the surface. You can see the sheets and bands of rain moving from the left end of the screen to the right. And we looks like the camera feed just went out. Let's we'll see if it comes back here in a minute. Uh, but we may have taken a power hit in Pontiac. Clear out of that. So our Pontiac camera went down, but we do have some broad circulation over town now. Whatever is there, straight line winds or possible tornadic activity, it is all rain wrapped. It looks to be more representative of straight line winds, but I wouldn't discount a brief spin up in this area. Our shear rate product highlighting that rotation against right over town. Right on historic uh, Route 66 there, right over Route 66, just to the east of Interstate 55. They do have this warrant for 70 mile per hour wind gust. They do mention tornado is possible. 
in their warning, their latest warning that was just updated, tornado possible, 70 mile per hour wind gusts moving to the northeast at 40. So for those in Livingston County, I'll give you an estimated time of arrival with this. Southern, south of us. Okay. Forest 624 Street or 626. Chatsworth 633, but as far as the rotation itself, I'm more interested in areas like Odell 628, Dwight at 640. All right, so we've got some broad rotation over Pontiac, and that is going to be moving towards Odell and Dwight. And if the storm motion holds, it would be there in Odell at 628 and in Dwight at 640. Any thoughts on what you would like to have Adam do? Uh, not yet. Okay. Broad rotation still over Pontiac. And for those in Bureau and Putnam counties, that rotation seems to really be, be falling apart with every new scan that comes through but it appears to be right along the Illinois River there at this point. So it looks like it's starting to cross over into Bureau County, which means it is on the way towards Ladd and Cherry. Uh, Hennepin, Granville, you're still included in the warning. I think in the update that will probably come out soon, they'll trim you out of that warning. Meanwhile, LaSalle, Peru, not included with any uh, tornado warnings, but you are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 6.45 p.m. And that is for 75 mile or 70 mile per hour winds. Uh, keep in mind, they still have that warned as tornado possible. Let's see if our Pontiac camera came back yet. Nope, it was knocked offline. We must have taken, there must have been a power hit there in town. So broad rotation over Pontiac that likely brought in some, that is bringing in some stronger winds with it. Now for Peoria, we are in the clear. Galesburg, Kiwani, all in the clear. The rain is ending. We should be just about done with this event uh, in our viewing area. We've just got to get through the rest of this line in LaSalle and Livingston counties and then our threat will have ended for the evening. Uh, for the ongoing watches, tornado watch continues for county shaded in yellow. That is LaSalle, Bureau, Putnam, Marshall, Woodford, McLean, DeWitt, and Livingston counties. Again, that runs till 9 p.m., uh, but it is not going to last that long for our local area. We think our risk is going to be done by 7 o'clock. Take a look at rainfall rates. Some very heavy rain, obviously, in Pontiac at this point, south of Peru, down through Fairbury. Uh, these are instantaneous rates, but I'll give you a sample. Uh, 7.2 inches an hour is what the radar is estimating there. Uh, you're not going to get that kind of rain out of this, uh, but that's how much is falling at this moment in time. Uh, your three-hour totals. If you were to look further south along the line, get a sense as to how much uh, these storms have been producing, a you know, quick half inch to an inch of rain is what you can probably expect from this. Not enough to cause flooding, uh, but enough, to, uh, enough falling at once to put some ponding on the roads that could make vehicles hydroplane. Uh, so, Dwight, this line is approaching you. We've got it now pushing into Odell as well. From Streeter through Cornell... Odell, Cullum, Forrest, and Chatsworth expecting increasing winds on the leading edge of that line. Storms will be out, are moving at about 40 miles per hour, so this is not going to last much longer. Uh, we should be in the clear soon. Uh, 
As for the tornado warning in Putnam and Bureau County, rotation continues to look less impressive. And we may see that warning dropped early because that warning continues until 6.45 p.m. Um. Looks like we may have... We may have some minor damage coming out of McLean County if we want to send Adam in that general direction. Uh, one mile south of Aerosmith, damage to an outbuilding, wooden sheet metal strewn down wind, core next to the shed and up the road was flattened as well. Uh, Molly, if you look at the chat, there's a there's an address there on okay. the ILX chat. I love there's that. A, let them know. Uh, but we did get some damage reports in McLean County. So we're getting uh, just sorting through some of the latest reports we have. Uh, that would have been one of those brief circulations earlier uh, in the uh, earlier in the evening. Let me see if we can go back and look at that. Yep. So some possible damage from this circulation between Aerosmith and Saybrook, right in here. Uh, I'll circle it for you that we may have had some damage there. That would have been shortly before 6 p.m. Uh, we don't have any tornado warnings for that, but that was one of those brief spin-ups that we highlighted earlier. Uh, but that uh, area of rotation is now out of our viewing area. And we're still seeing some broad circulation north of Pontiac. It is not as well defined as it was earlier. Still would be prepared in Odell for straight line winds. They have this still warned for 70 mile per hour wind gust coming into town. That's pretty significant. Uh, so you need to remain sheltered as this line blows through. And the active tornado warning in Bureau and Putnam County. Change radar sites. Uh, rotation no longer evident there. I'm not seeing it either. That may be dropped soon. Um, we're waiting for the weather service to pull the trigger on that one, but that's probably going to be, that warning will probably be expired shortly. Uh, whatever rotation is here north of Pontiac is riding just north of high, uh, Interstate 55 and moving between Cornell and Odell. Doesn't look very tornadic. Uh, but with these things, you can't completely discount a brief spin-up. Uh, so, so the National Weather Service has it warned for 70-mile-per-hour winds, and they do mention tornado possible for instances where we do get the, these little brief spin-up tornadoes. Shear rate indicates where some of the stronger rotation is located, Cornell and Odell, north of Pontiac. Have not had much in the way of hail today. We'll see if our, I'm curious if our Pontiac cam is back online. It is not. The rest of this line should continue to move off to the northeast. Let me show you future track through the rest of this evening. And because of that tornado warning, um, does not look all that impressive. We will dump out at 630. But if you want to continue to follow our storm coverage, uh, we will continue this on our various live streams at 630.
So here's future track for the rest of this evening. Uh, severe thunderstorms will continue to move out, and we should be done once this clears LaSalle and Livingston counties. There will be some lingering showers uh, that will carry you over uh, through about midnight tonight, otherwise expecting clearing skies. So let's give you a quick rundown here. Uh, in the control room, if you're able to count me down at 6.30 to get out, uh, that'll be great. Uh, we'll go over some of these warnings because the, we do have one tornado warning that is still in effect. It runs until 6.45 p.m., but we have not had any recent updates on that. And the rotation is really non-existent there. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and get off the airwaves, but if you are watching in LaSalle and Livingston counties. We do have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect there uh, for a little bit longer. Feel free to change over to our Facebook live streams. Also check out our website, ciproud.com, as well as the CI Proud to go weather app for some additional information. In the meantime, we'll send you back to regular scheduled programming as it appears the greater risk of severe weather is wrapping up tonight in central Illinois. We'll follow the ongoing storms a little while longer, and we'll shut the live stream off once these storms officially move out of our viewing area. On behalf of Molly Naisland, myself, Chief Meteorologist Chris Yates, and in the mobile storm tracker, Meteorologist Adam Sherwinski, thanks for joining us now to your regular scheduled programming. For severe weather alerts and updates, download the CI Proud to Go weather app. We now return to your regularly scheduled program already in progress. Well, if we can add up, thank you guys, and leave links to up. Perfect. All right, uh, we've got about 2,100 people without power in McLean County. I'm curious as to what we have in uh, Livingston County as far as power outages. Uh, that'll probably get updated here shortly for yep. us in here. Do you want me to text Andrew and see if he can look that look into that? A look into that damage? Uh, for um, Livingston for power. Oh, I've got, I think I got it here. Okay. Pulling it up now. Livingston County looks to be okay. No customers out, so I don't know why we took a... The internet maybe will going out. Uh, yeah. But right now, as far as power outages, McLean County is the hardest hit. They did get a lot of that wind earlier on with the system. It looks like there may have been a brief tornado near Saybrook uh, earlier this afternoon uh, when, when that line first came, came through. Uh, but right now, the worst of this uh, continues to be to our north. If you are watching up near Dwight... Odell, we'll keep an eye on the storms for you. Uh, these storms are just about out of our viewing area, but uh, uh, you're included in the viewing area, so we'll stay with it. Uh, but we have no immediate uh, tornado threat from any of these storms, even though that tornado warning continues uh, near Putnam. Uh, for Putnam and Bureau counties, the rotation there is likely now north of our viewing area, and that warning may be expired soon. LaSalle, Peru... Uh, may have seen some gusty winds on the leading edge of this line, uh, but for Grand Ridge, Streeter, uh, you're likely going to see some, an uptick in your wind speed shortly. And that will be, you'll see similar conditions in Dwight, Odell, Cullum, and Chatsworth. And we'll, we're getting further south. Let me uh, drop down. Yeah, very interesting couplet there that uh, came out of DeWitt County through the Saybrook area, and I'm wondering if we look at the debris, if we had any, I, no debris signature, but there, there has been some reports of damage out there. We had multiple uh, severe thunderstorm warnings yeah. down there, but never an official tornado warning. And those severe thunderstorm warnings were tornado possible tagged, so, uh, you know, they were still... They were still covered there, but you know, these brief spin-ups there, are there they, they form quick. Uh, but Bloomington Normal is in the clear. It looks like there's about 100 yards worth of, uh, worth of corn that's been flattened in that area. Um, I'm looking into an unconfirmed report right now. Okay. 
I'm looking at the uh, address. Um, continues. So that warning in Putnam and Bureau has been continued. Okay. So they'll continue that tornado warning. Mm -hmm. That's till 645. Again, we're not seeing much rotation. Uh, that is alarming. If we get some updated reports from the Weather Service of uh, funnel clouds or a tornado report, we'll let you know. Uh, but the worst of that is now north of Interstate 80. It is near LAD, so if you are in LAD, you'll need to remain in shelter. Uh, but the rotation here is no, nowhere near as impressive as it was when the warning was first prompted. Uh, so we'll stay with it on the live stream here, but uh, we're not seeing any immediate uh, threat of a tornado from our vantage point. Doesn't mean something can't form quickly. Uh, but we have no new information to report out of that. And again, in McLean County, we've got about 2,100 people without power. I'm looking into some of these storm reports. The unconfirmed is outside of our viewing area. Looking at uh, so 100 or 1,000 north, 3,300 3, east. 3,300 east. Yes. Uh, Adam says he is going to head that way. Okay. It might take him a minute because he was not near it. Yeah, so that damage report, they said it was about a mile eighth of southwest, a mile. or an eighth of a mile southwest of there. Looks like it. Uh, let's look at the couplet there. I'm trying to... For those watching on live stream, we're trying to pinpoint this, uh, the damage location here for Adam. Yeah, there may have been two separate uh, couplets there, Molly. Working together. Yep. One near one over Aerosmith, another just to the southwest of Saybrook. Gotcha. But yep. Our T, our swath, sheer swath, probably. I mean, it gets messy here when the storms are moving like this, but draw a line through where we got the, that would be the stronger one right there. All right. Uh, we'll get back to our current uh, readings. Still no update on that warning outside of the one that we got uh, a few minutes ago. Okay. Ottawa, uh, some pretty good rain pushing in. Grand Ridge, Streeter, and Ransom all getting some very heavy rain at this point. That broad circulation that was over Pontiac a while ago is now northwest of Odell. Uh, so Dwight, be aware you could see a good push of wind coming in. We've likely seen that in Odell recently. See a donut hole there where that uh, broad circulation is located and that is going to be just a few miles off to your southwest of Dwight there 7.7 .7. Uh, north of Troy Go uh, Grove, Illinois rapidly that's rotating wall cloud the one that I saw that's north of I-80 okay that's probably going to, yeah, it's going to be near Mendota? Yes. Okay. Going towards Mendota, it looks like. Yeah, that's out of our viewing area. But that is north of LaSalle, Peru. There's, uh, there's that rotation up there.
The severe weather threat in our viewing area does uh, will continue to dwindle down. Uh, we're monitoring now just uh, for portions of LaSalle and far northeast Livingston counties. Uh, but the threat is just about uh, done in our local viewing area. Uh, they're shrinking down the tornado watch a little bit more. Okay. Uh, as Molly mentioned, there was an update to the tornado watch. Let's uh, take a look at that. All right, McLean County, Woodford, Marshall County have all been taken out of that tornado watch. Continues for Bureau, Putnam, LaSalle, and Livingston counties through 9 p.m. But again, uh, our, we, we should be done here by 7 Yeah, Pontiac remains down. I'm not sure when we'll get that one back up. I refreshed our camera yeah, it's, page and I it think was it's, still... Yeah, it took a hit. I don't um, know if it was a lightning strike or not, but... I don't know. Those computers do not like that. Often our cameras are some of the tallest points on those buildings, so... Our computers don't like lightning either. No, they don't. All right, let's uh, keep give you an update here on what is going on in Bureau County. Again, that rotation, really nowhere to be identified, the, though there is that couplet near Troy Grove. Uh, that one is, is outside of our viewing area, but if you have friends or family in Mendota, Meriden, Earlville, or Troy Grove, you may want to give them a heads up. There is some rotation there, and there's been a ro wall cloud reported with that. Uh, it looks like you're getting... Uh, a cell merger here. You got one isolated cell that is, or discrete cell, I should say, that is starting to interact with that incoming squall line. And, and it's not unusual to get some, some rotation out of that, as we saw here in Bureau County with a, with a similar situation. Leading edge of the, of the line of storms now pushing through or pushing into Dwight. Um, rain's not nearly as heavy as it was. No, you're good to go. Oh, okay. No, we'll send Molly. We'll send Molly home. She's been here all day. I'll see you all tomorrow morning, everyone. <laughs> Molly, thanks for your help. Yes. Yeah. I love working with you. Likewise. We only see each other when the weather's bad. Or podcast. <laughs> or podcast, that's right. Uh, take a look on the update here. I wonder. Weather Service is working to confirm the rotation near Troy Grove. That is in LaSalle, northern LaSalle County, but outside of our viewing area. National Weather Service is continuing this tornado warning for Bureau County until 645. They've taken Putnam County out of that, so Granville and the rest of Putnam County is in the clear. But Arlington, Cherry, and Ladd all remain, uh, remain aware. You are still within that tornado warning. National Weather Service has continued it. I think the rotation with this is north of you at this point, uh, and it's certainly outside of our viewing area. But if you're holding on in, uh, on our live stream, just wanted to give you a heads up. Weather Service is working to confirm a possible tornado funnel cloud near Troy Grove. That is north of LaSalle, Peru. You see the broad rotation between Troy Grove and Mendota. For Livingston County, Pontiac is in the clear uh, for the severe thunderstorm warning, but that warning continues for northeastern and eastern parts of the county. 
until 6.45, so another few minutes to go here. But this is just about, we are just about out of the woods here in central Illinois. Have a good night, Molly. Some great uh, pictures coming in on Twitter of the tornado and funnel cloud near Roanoke earlier this evening. I implore you to go check that out. And any other storm reports you have are greatly appreciated, so please keep them coming through social media. And National Weather Service just issued a new severe thunderstorm warning for LaSalle County. Now that's going to be mainly for areas north of our viewing area, but it's for this, uh, for this portion of the line. And that is uh, warned for 60 mile per hour gusts, but they also mentioned tornado possible. And that is moving outside of our viewing area, so we're not really going to stay with that here. In fact, we are, I think we are probably just about in the clear. We'll keep an eye on some of these areas south of Interstate 80 for now.